nine days in, nine days into 2019, and we are still thinking about all of those New Year's resolutions that many, many of you have made. And if you made some for the health of it, God bless you and God speed to you. That is amazing. Continue doing something uh, that, that will certainly benefit your body. You know, because after all, this is the temple. This is God's temple if you have confessed and believed in his son, Jesus Christ. And so I said all that to say this. Um, we're still thinking about entering into this new year and, and having some of those same old behaviors. So I have a word for you today. Don't let your past be a part of your now. Now that's a word for somebody. And I, I know that that's a good word for me. And thankfully the Lord took me to uh, Acts chapter eight, uh, beginning at verse five. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and he preached Christ unto the, the people in the city of Samaria. And the people uh, with one accord gave gave heed unto all the things that Philip had preached unto them. And, and they believed in what they heard and they believed in the miracles that they saw. And then some had some unclean spirits and they came crying out with a loud voice. Many of those people were possessed with these unclean spirits. And then many of them had all kinds of issues from cerebral palsy to lameness. And, and all of them were healed from the preaching of Philip and the belief of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But there was a man, there was a man whose name was Simon. And Simon lived in that city as well. And Simon was a, a sorcerer. He was, he was more like a, a warlock, if you will. He practiced sorcery. He practiced uh, bewitching methods and all of the people came out to Samaria, came out from uh, Samaria and, and around the Samaritan area just to get bewitched and tricked by him. But this one thing happened to this, this Simon uh, because all of the people of Samaria started getting saved and they, they believed in the gospel of Jesus Christ and they heard what Philip was preaching and they believed. And guess what? After a while, Simon did too. Simon forsook all of those things, all of those habits, all of those treacherous, evil things that he was into, probably to make money, but, 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 but also probably to keep people coming back. He forsook all of those things. In other words, his past was all messed up. His past was all perpetuating nothing but evil. But he made that change and he believed on the gospel of Jesus Christ and he didn't go back. He took off and went the other way. He went to a way that had value. He went towards a way that had virtue, went towards a way that had vision. But most importantly, he went towards the way that had our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in his crosshairs. I'm telling you, it is amazing when you can let that thing go in the past and you can focus on the future. You know, it's nine days in. Some of you are still trying to drag those things in from 2018. You're trying to find a way to bring it with you, whether it's a U-Haul or an RV or a tractor trailer or whatever it may be. You're trying to find that way to bring that old jacked up relationship, that jacked up joker or jacked up joquette, if that's the case. You're trying to find a way to get them into your life. But if God has freed you and, and you know that you know that you know that you should let that thing, let that person, let that situation go and turn it over, be just like Simon of Samaria. Let it go. Turn around. Walk away. Follow Christ. Experience life through the very, very essence of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Nine days in. Don't let the past be a part of your future. I think I'm talking to you.